Hi guys, Sean from Optics. So today we're going to be looking at the best night vision and thermal products of 2025, hand selected by me. Uh, these are products that have been performing really well in terms of sales. We're looking at the specs of them and also what they come out at in terms of the price point to the end user. <clears throat> So we've got a good selection here, got some night vision, and then we've got some thermal monoculars, binoculars, and then some rifle scopes. Um, we're gonna run through probably right to left, I've probably got around 25Ks worth of products just in this small selection of stuff, and sort of run through why I've picked it, quickly brush over the specs and features, and sort of what it's geared towards. And it could be good um, with this video coming out this time of year, perfect for night vision and thermal season and also with Black Friday running here at Optics Warehouse. So we have here our biggest performing thermal rifle scope, the Stella from Hick Micro. This is a 3.0, the SQ50L, has the 15 millikelvin net D rating, so incredibly firmly thermal sensitivity. Uh, we've got a 640 by 512 sensor, so offering really good performance and good price point uh, level. We're under the £3,000 mark, I think around the 2.8 mark, and you've got something that is perfect for foxing, especially here in the UK. This has been our biggest seller for foxes, and there's probably nothing that beats it really in terms of price to performance ratio that is currently on the market. Then we then move to my favorite unit. Uh, this is the Condor from Hick Micro again. You'll see that most of the table is dominated by them. And that's because over the short course of time that they've been on the market, down to just how they invest in um, their business, they've created a product range that has become the leaders in the night vision and thermal world. So again, Hick Micro have become the dominant force in the thermal and night vision world and their products are market leaders now. So we have here the Hick Micro CQ35L, the 2.0. Um, this changes from the Condor 1 series. Uh, we've gone from a front focus to a single um, focus that is operated or single hand focus that is operated just in front of the eyepiece and that allows you to um, adjust the focus of the unit for what you're looking at uh, with one handed operation. We have a 640 by 512 sensor, again, sub 15 net D, so you get in top of the range performance and you are under the 2000 pound price point and performance wise in a monocular, there's nothing better. The difference between the Falcon uh, series and the Condor series and the reason I prefer personally this one, uh, I like how it fits in my hands, but then you could give this unit to someone else and they prefer the Falcon. They both boost the same or boast the same performance uh, in terms of uh, sensitivity, the thermal resolution. Uh, I just personally prefer this one. This is uh, actually our biggest seller and it comes with a laser range finder integral to the unit. That's what's uh, located just under the front lens here. And yeah, this is for the last three or four years, been our biggest seller throughout the Condor range and it continues to um, go in that way. We then have knot picks. So knot picks, this is the L35R. However, uh, the one that has been selling very well, the one that I wanted to put on the table, but because we were out of stock, chose the next best thing, uh, the H35R. That sort of knot picks is equivalent to the Condor. The Condor sort of tips it uh, in the sense that it has a slightly better millikelvin rating. You're talking 18 to 15, what the Condor has. Um, so there's a slight improvement on the thermal performance. They both come with a 640 um, by 512 thermal sensor and you have the laser rangefinder integrated into the bottom of the lens. This has been very popular. Notpix um, have rebranded from the iRay uh, product range and they've done a good job to be honest. That new range of products that they bought into the Notpix series has been very, very popular. They've, um, you'll see they've created the A series in the thermal rifle scopes and I'll go on to that in a second, but that's been uh, popular due to um, the eyepiece design, how it almost gives an optical zoom feel. Um, so that's something what has caught a lot of uh, shooters attention and sort of allow not picks to, to gain a bit more market share. The best selling rifle scope in terms of digital um, night vision 
is the Alpex 4K Lite. This has been smashing the sales, especially recently, because they've done a uh, price drop. Uh, it's come down to 599 and that's just to compete again. That's one thing you will notice with the with the Chinese manufacturers is because there is such a tight group of them and they're always trying to beat each other. They are continuously looking at the price point, looking at the performance of their sales and in general, just looking at being the most competitive on the market. And they're not afraid to be really aggressive and make sure that they assert their dominance. So it's great for the end user. Uh, because you are getting better and better products at cheaper and cheaper prices. So that's really where the, the, the sort of the game's changed over the last few years is because there is so much digital night vision products out there from lots of different manufacturers and they're all trying to be the best. Ultimately, the end user is getting products that are coming to market a lot quicker with the newer technologies and they're becoming cheaper all the time. So it's very similar to sort of what you see in the camera market, we see in the TV, the laptop world. We're getting that now in the shooting market and I can only see it as a good thing because it allows you to constantly upgrade and look at new kit and get the best performance that you possibly can. So yeah, like I said, Alpex Lite, this is a 4K, comes on a 30 mil main tube, very, very light as it says in the name, uh, designed perfectly for air rifles, rim fires, even centre fires for the guys who are looking for a lightweight rig, this will pair perfectly. Got your laser rangefinder integrated into front lens, and it's a ballistic laser rangefinder, so you can um, put all your bullet information into the app and it'll work out your drops, and this thing is incredibly accurate. The Alpex 4K is bigger brother, that's still been our biggest seller um, even um, back into 2024, where it came out 18 months ago, that is still and will probably remain one of the best selling night vision rifle scopes ever created. So the 4K light was just bought in because the 4K um, larger model was slightly heavy and much more geared towards the foxes so they wanted to bring in considering uh, the air rifle and rimfire market a, a product that suited those rifles more because we're seeing more and more night vision and thermal products going onto air rifle platforms and that is just a trend of what we're seeing uh, from end user spending so the manufacturers want to make sure they're always ahead of the game and providing products that are geared specifically for the markets this is actually a, um, a product that the uk supplier came up with and has been very popular we then move on to the dnt series so we'll start with the zulus and we've got a firm night here uh, the Zulus is um, DNT's little night vision rifle scope uh, has been very, very popular. We almost went past this series of scope. Par did it with the MV008 and at the time was a game changer. Lots of people went that route, nice and compact, small and had an integrated laser rangefinder and an integrated IR torch. So you get a lot of people liking this system, especially for air rifle and rimfire shooters, because it's nice and lightweight. We then seen a series of moves where people were going 30 mil main tube, and then DNT came up with this. So they sort of went back to old school style and feel and a lot of people really liked it and in terms of sales reflected very strongly the zulus range was very very popular so sort of these have been battling out side by side with the number of scopes that are being sold and it just shows you the way the world is going a lot of people are moving away from to, uh, traditional day optics and going to this digital realm uh, because you are getting the ability to have again a ballistic laser rangefinder so it does your drops for you and you're able to get performance that completely um, bridges the gap between daytime and nighttime. You get that twilight performance and this is where this excels. So if you're looking for that twilight range, the, the DNT will drop out there, but the twilight era is where the Alpex series is and that's across both models. But if you're looking for a day and a night option, um, then yeah, the DNT has been very, very popular. But the Firm Knight is basically a Zulus 
and then a thermal rifle scope as well. So that's where DNT have started to capture a bit of the market. They wanted to make it multi-spectral system. So the 225, which is um, in this box, you're looking at something that has a thermal 256 sensor. So it's all entry level thermal performance. And then you have the same sensor system, the same CMOS system as what the Zulus has, which everyone absolutely loves. You have that integrated laser rangefinder, and then you have the IR torch as well, which is again integrated into the unit. What it allows you to do, and it's sort of the performance is geared towards that, is the fact that you spot with that thermal channel and then you then flick modes and then engage the target on that digital channel. And that again is something that DNT have sort of pioneered. It's something that other brands have looked at and didn't go into it, but DNT uh, were looking for a, a gap in the market where they could sort of take a bit of foothold and that's done um, wonders for them. So it's allowed them to sort of branch out, create higher resolution sensors and sort of drive sales to the Zulus range as well. We then have the Not Picks, which is there, which is the A series, very similar to the, the Stella in terms of chassis system. The one that I've picked out from the Not Pick series is the S60. So this is a 1280 sensor. So it's the highest resolution sensor on the market. <clears throat> you do have that as well from Hick Micro. That's in the SX60L. Uh, the Not Picks. Uh, the reason I decided to put it on the table is because it has that really, really nice um, IP system that gives that illusion of having an optical zoom. Uh, so it gives a really friendly image. It has a circular display and a lot of customers like it. It's been, uh, it's been a popular model from uh, Notpix and that then moves through the A series in general. So you're not just seeing that those features on that S60, you are seeing it throughout the H50 and then uh, the models below that. So we've gone through the knot picks, we've gone through the firm light, the Zulus. So we then go on to the Habrox. So these are the Habrox Pro uh, HQ50Ls. So the Habrox came out a couple of years ago and the 50s are their newest model. Um, along with the S, well, along with the HX60s as well. So the Habrox H uh, Q50s have been very popular for the Foxes. Uh, just gives you a a bigger focal um, length. So you've got a 50 mil focal length on these. Um, and the thing that no one else has managed to do um, from the rest of the manufacturers is give you a binocular um, chassis system that is like this, that includes a digital system, which is located on my left. And then you've then got on the right ear is the thermal system. So easily uh, identifiable, the red is thermal digital on uh, this side. And then we have located here, the laser rangefinder, and then above it, the torch. And that's an IR torch. So these are a, a all, in, all intents and purposes, a multi-spectral binocular. You don't get that fusion image, but what you get is a thermal channel and a digital channel. The digital channel works in daytime and it works in nighttime. So, it does bridge the gap across all um, times of day. I've used the HX60Ls um, and they are, they are one of my favorites for uh, deer stalking. You'll see a video on our channel about that. But these, um, the HQ50Ls have been very popular with the Foxes, gives you the 640 resolution, gives you a sub um, or sub net D of 15 millikelvin. So, best thermal performance out on the market. You've got the laser range finder and you have a unit that is an all-in-one system. So you don't have to have a monocular, you don't have to have a binocular. So it's an all-in-one system, comes with a decent carry case and gives you some of the best performance on the market. These are coming in around 3,200. Um, the one unit I did miss, is the little Pixra. Uh, so this is the, the Arc, and I've put the 13 mil version on the table, um, not because we appeal much to um, the ecology market, but Pixra have got their own little area here with this particular model, and that's why I wanted to put it on the table. If you're doing any kind of surveying, 
uh, for ecology, uh, looking at um, surveying for bats, for instance. Pixar have created this arc. The 13 mil comes with a 640 sensor, but that small 13 mil lens allows you to have a really wide field of view with a high resolution. So you have a low base mag and um, you end up having um, a decent resolution for being able to identify heat sources. So if you're looking at a building, you're, you're able to have the device in one spot and it's able to capture the whole um, width of the building. So these are one of the only uh, manufacturers in the market that have a high resolution 640 sensor and then a, a small uh, focal length, which then gives you the ability to get that wide field of view and makes it a perfect ecology unit. So that's sort of my roundup of all the night vision and thermal products we would recommend. If you want any further information on any of the, these devices, always drop us a call um, and we can always go into further details on particular units. Check out our other videos because we should have a good selection of videos and footage videos for these units and always drop us an email because we're quick on that and remember guys like subscribe to the channel and keep the videos coming see you in a bit